Well, how y'all doing? It has been a long time. A long time. Well, well, if y'all don't know by now, which I don't think I've addressed it yet, but I am actually a dad. My daughters were delivered on December 29th at 150 and 151. Uh, and boy, they've been giving me the runaround. So, or the wife let me get away from the house. I'll bring the dogs out. To Paisley! <whistles> let them run around for a while today. Get out of the house because they, they got cabin fever. I didn't want to leave, but she made me. So, but uh, yeah, Henley and Harper have made their way into the world, and it is a whole different kind of love, guys. I'm telling you, when I held those baby girls for the first time, it's, it's different. They, everybody says it's different. I never believed them, but it is true. It's a whole different level of love, and it's crazy. But the point of today's video is to let y'all know that I'm gonna try to get back into it a little bit, get back into the swing of things, trying to film a little bit for y'all. Uh, I just haven't had any time. Uh, my last video, I didn't post it because I left the GoPro in the truck. I filmed all the B-roll for it, had it all ready to go. And, uh, me and old Brandon went down to Wrigley's red fishing. We caught a few reds and we transitioned into bow fishing that night and something bad happened. I was lazy. I was up on the deck of the front of the boat and I tried to use the pole I had in my hand, my Corrado K, to hook my Corrado DC and grab it off the center console and like winch it to me. Why did I why did I decide to do that? I don't know. But as soon as it came out of that rod holder, it tipped over, went outside of the boat and down to David Jones's locker. Back to the point of today's video is I just picked up this dude right here. It is a DJI Spark drone. Made a, it's a great drone for beginner. This is my second one. I made a video this time last year because I picked up another one and I had the drone for probably seven days and I crashed it into Mr. Drew's pond. The pond where, I, where it landed was about 12 foot deep and his pond is like that black clear water. You can't see a foot of visibility. Well, I got this drone maybe two weeks ago, three weeks ago. And I'm glad to say that I already crashed it into a pond. My pond. I'm gonna roll the footage here in a second. You know, I, I'm just gonna go ahead and roll it now. I was practicing some maneuvers, you know, just getting some angles down and uh, had it sport mode, which is least all my problems. But this is what happened. Roll the clip. So yeah, had in sports mode, came, I collided with my, I was looking at the screen, I was looking at the drone coming at me, collided with myself and it hit the ground and it rolled like this, 20 feet into my pond. And it, my pond's crystal clear and I saw it, it was probably in the water for maybe 28 seconds. I stripped down butt naked out here in the middle of this field, dove in, got it, uh, we had a cold front come through two days before, so it was like 36 degrees or something, which is pretty cold for South Louisiana. But it was like 30 degrees, jumped in, took my breath out, got it. And I'm going to tell y'all how I fixed the drone. First thing I did, as soon, as soon as I came out of the water, I disconnected the battery. I, I've always heard that the water, the what fries these things, is not the stuff getting wet inside itself, all the parts and the computer but it's the power going to those parts that when the power and the water meet, you know, it gets fried. So the first thing I did was disconnect the battery. That was, that was the first thing I did. Got home, I put this thing in a bag of rice and I let it sit for 24 hours. No battery, had all the stuff still on it. Took it out for 24 hours, powered it up, nothing worked. I heard the fan, you could hear the fan kick on and it would go off and that was it. So I was bummed. So I did a little research and I went and got a little tool and I took this white cover off, which reveals everything in there. And they do have little little stickers in here that when they get red, they turn red. So the, I guess the warranty department can tell if you're drawing underwater or not. So I took this, took this whole white plastic off. There's six screws in here. There's four right here. And then there's one each side of the gimbal. Pulled that off, put it back in the rice and I let it sit. I think I let it sit for three days. Yeah, 
three days in rice. Pulled it out, and this was the hard way. I had to get all the pieces of rice out from inside all these parts. And I wish I took a picture. This thing is, there's so much stuff going on inside here. Pulled all those pieces out, all the rice, put a new battery in her, powered up, and she worked. Went out there, grabbed the controller, and I noticed that before, you know, the crash, this thing is, the GPS on this thing is pretty good. It would lock it in and it would not move. I'm talking about it was just steady. Wind, whatever. Now I notice that, I'm going to try again today, but as soon as I pulled out of the rice, put a battery in it, it would like rock. Just very slightly. And I'm thinking it's because of probably, you know, fried something in there. Something there is probably not right. But the GPS works, the Wi-Fi works, and it flies. Camera works, gimbal works. So I, thank you, rice. Oh. But yeah. So what I've learned is that I need to stop putting in sport mode, especially when I'm around water, because me, drones, and water just love each other. <clears throat> but yeah. Other than that, not much has been going on. I just figured I'd throw a little quick video together for y'all. I'm going to throw some drone, drone shots here in a minute. But I just want to let y'all know that... Oh, by the way, my girls. Here, I'll show you a picture. Here, put them up on the screen right now. Uh, Henley Marie. No, it's... Is it Henley Marie? No, it's Henley Lynette and Harper Marie. Identical twin girls. They stole my heart. It's hard to tell them apart. We're starting to... They're starting to get their personalities. So it's only been like 20 days. But it's rough. And they're going through some diapers. We went through a whole 84 box of diapers in three days. But, uh, yeah, that's my baby girls, and I love them to death. So, because I'm pretty sure my next time I'm going fishing is with Fat Matt. Uh, he's no longer in Oregon, thank God. He is currently in Dallas, Texas. You know, Fort Worth, Dallas, Texas area, good and squad, stuff like that. So, lucky bastard. But, um, supposedly they got the Bassmaster Classic coming up. At some lake that's like 30 minutes from his hotel. So I'm probably going to ride up there later in March. But hopefully I can get on some bed and bass around here in southern Louisiana. I know there's a couple beds in here. I'm going to try to check out this year. See if I get that big five pounder back on the on camera. Because she's huge. But yeah. Love you guys. Catch y'all later.